Hi everyone, welcome to Jargon Free Help. So earlier today I was catching up with someone just for what was like a little online coffee chat. It seems that a lot of us are doing that at the moment with the lockdown, many of us locked down around the world. I hope you're all keeping well and staying safe and adapting to, I guess for many of you working from home, which sometimes isn't that easy. But thankfully things like Skype and Zoom have sort of come to the rescue with doing things such as having meetings online. And I do have a video coming up on Zoom as well. So one of the things that he was quite intrigued about was that rather than calling him, I actually set up a meeting. Now, the advantage to that is that I could have quite a few people come in. I didn't have to have their username and or to actually contact them. And I think one of the reasons he quite likes that is because he's a university lecturer and he wants to get in touch with his students. He didn't want to have to get all their contact details. And also at the same time, they would then have his contact details and could call him at any time. So setting up a meeting was actually a much better way of doing it. So I've actually got Skype open here and I could be either on the chats tab here or on the calls and you'll see there's a button that says meet now and this is what I did. I clicked on meet now and it's uh, ready to go. It says are you ready to meet now and yes I am and here is this link that I can send them so I can just click here on this button here and it says a link copied underneath. All I've got to do now is send it to him and then that's ready to go. I could also do it by clicking on share invite. I could cop copy that link here. I could have done the Skype contacts here or I could have sent it through Outlook Mail as well. But I quite like the idea of copying it and then I can just send it to a whole load of people. I can switch on my camera and my microphone to check here. I can blur my background. I'm not too bothered by my background, but there you go, it's blurred. It can sometimes come up with a bit of a funny effect, so let's not do that. Um, but for some people, you're having a conversation with them. We're all working from home. Things can be going on in the background. Perhaps your laundry is there. You don't want all of that, so you can do that to kind of get rid of all that distraction. When I'm ready, I just click on Start Call. At the top here, it tells me I'm one of one people in that call. Um, I could potentially, let me just see if I do this here on my phone, I could just paste and go very cleverly. What I copied here just comes straight into here. I can join the conversation. It will open Skype. So if you know someone is using this on a device like an iPhone, iPad or Android device, all they gotta do is paste it into their browser and it will open up the Skype application as well. So just make sure that's on. By the way, it does that for Zoom too. You can now see it says one of two in the call up in the top corner here. That person now just needs to join the call. There's a button here on the screen. They can join it. And if they've got, they've got just turn off the microphone there. Otherwise, we're going to get all this echoing. But if I have the camera on, you can see me come up here as well. So I'm going to stop this uh, here. I'm going to come out of that because otherwise you're going to get all this noise and everything. But there you go. That's how you can do that. That's how you can set up a Skype call as a meeting so you don't have to actually get everyone's contact details and you don't have to share your contact details then with them. Really nice and easy to use and a great way to keep in touch with people. Apparently this is just as good as meeting up with people in terms of happiness apparently. So stay happy and use something like this to keep in touch with people. Please do stay safe. If you want to know more, I've got lots of videos on things from Word, Excel, PowerPoint, iPhone and photography, filming at home as well as working from home. So if you need to create your own videos for work, there's stuff on live streaming as well. So go and check out my channel and I hope some of these can actually help you out. If you want to know more and stay in touch, do click on the subscribe below and hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching.